Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Yulia and I have a message for you. But honestly, today I have no idea what this message is about. I mean, like you probably know from the title, but I have no idea and I have few new decks um, with me today. And also my dog um, is spying on me. So I want to draw some cards we will read the energy but like overall my intention here today is to kind of like give the update of energy for the collective because i don't know maybe some, like probably you need it if you're here okay i'm sorry for him <laughs> so the universe or god or spirit angels whoever you believe in and whoever you want to receive a message from what do you have to tell my lovely viewers um i also may be going i have my laptop here and i may check out the pronunciation throughout the whole reading because some of those words are new to me and i may also read some things from the guidebooks if you are if you don't mind then um yes then what i don't know okay okay i have the first card and it's fairies orders rest replenish and release guilt and this card card looks like this and this fairies word 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 oh my god i'm so sorry reminds me of game of thrones like you know Aerys Targaryen, you know, like um, this kind of vibe. So maybe some of you recently watched Game of Thrones or you like Game of Thrones, I'm hearing. Um, we have rest. So I think so, like I think most of you because people tend to i'm sorry i'm a little bit all over the place <laughs> um i think most of you have trouble resting lately like maybe you can sleep at night or you just like me like right now i'm like like i feel almost like when i was having panic attacks you know like that kind of like anxiety vibe i'm feeling so and since i'm reading your energy i guess you may feel like that too which i'm so sorry for um but i'm here to guide you through this um but like i think that it's collective vibe recently with not being able to rest with stress and everything i think it's collective because um my loved ones are also experiencing that so yes but we can move through this you know like um even my can 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 candle candle oh my god candle jenner <laughs> candle here is like um enchanting lavender um it doesn't smell like lavender at all wait i will so you can see this um and lavender is used to like um put you to sleep like to relax you even i'm wearing like lavender color so what i'm feeling here mostly is like you are unable to rest and we're gonna see why and what is your advice here we have the first card and we have the star with nyx because like this deck has like um oh we have the lovers um this deck has like um greek gods um and goddesses here um with the lovers straight away i'm gonna come back to the next some of you may have trouble resting at night because you're thinking of someone that you love like someone that you're attracted to i'm not feeling well, i'm uh sorry <laughs> i'm not feeling um like this energy of of like a like worrying about a friend or like your mom or something i'm more feeling like about someone that like is your crush or something so yes but I, i'm not gonna include it in the reading unless it um 
wants to come out again and here we also have seven of cups and like this guy here looks like he's like crying maybe some of you are crying yourselves to sleep recently and since we have the seven of cups here i'm just gonna go through this quickly um we have the seven of cups and the lovers maybe some of you are like fantasizing or like just like thinking non-stop about like your person whoever that is and this like this kind of like creates the anxiety in like your heart chakra area and whatever in your body um so that may be why um i will keep this in mind but like we're gonna move on from this and we have the nyx with the star and nyx was of course the goddess of um night oh my god i'm gonna check this out because i don't want to be wrong but like um yes but like since we were talking about not being able to sleep at night and and like rest here um I, my eyes just like rested on the um release guilt here um and maybe like maybe you're feeling guilty but like i'm gonna check out of what you're exactly feeling guilty or maybe we were not meant to find out but like um i'm getting that there are some like some there are there is a lot of like n like negative like really draining um not high vibe emotions surrounding your crown chakra recently like you may have been getting headaches or migraines or i don't know i even like maybe like pain in the ears or some kind of like inflammation because like i'm i'm saying crown chakra because here we have like um can you see this like some some like something is like pouring the water over her um crown chakra like a chakra like over her top of the top of her head i'm so sorry and like here also you have this um light coming out of her of her head um this yes goddess of the night since i'm here i'm gonna hope faith renewal rejuvenation please you know what mm. uh, because like the star is like originally of course about hope about um healing about even being a star maybe some kind of celebrity is watching this if so i'm honored <laughs> like um anyways uh what was i saying uh yes with the star and the healing energy i think it's not about you being in this healing energy because here we have like we have like orders we have like fairies cis orders and beneath that is like rest so what i'm getting with that is that you need rest not that you are in this energy that you need this kind of deep healing star like um energy rest but you are you aren't like you yes you're not just like able to rest because you're constantly um having those like i think that you are just like overthinking something someone some kind of like situation in your life and what i'm immediately picking oh, <laughs> Um, what I'm immediate, immediate, I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, what I'm immediately able to pick up on is that, um, is that I forgot what I wanted to say. Oh my god, I'm not, I, I don't know what's like, I know what's wrong with me, and I'm sorry, but I'm here to, here to help you. Oh my god, yes, we're gonna find out more. I am deeply sorry for my chaotic 
appearance but i haven't been able to rest recently till the like it's not the guilt it's like um we have king of coins with hyperion i some of those um gods and goddesses names i'm not gonna pronounce even i'm not gonna even try because this is hard for me to pronounce even in polish so in english i'm out but we have the king of coins um which gives me like gives me because like this is this kind of energy but i'm getting like capricorn um virgo taurus not, not as much which is surprising because um anyways i think you may be stressed about work or or like not about work because um um the king of pentacles is mostly about like being in a stable financially stable material materialistic wise stable um energy and place in your life but i think that this what i'm getting right now here with those um two first cards and this third one is like um i think you're striving for both like being stable financially i'm hearing um but instead of that you should be striving for being stable emotionally um even like spiritually and more of like i'm hearing grounding yourself like um like drowning yourself in this sense where you don't feel like you need um money to give you that kind of accomplishment i hope you know what i mean it's like um how to say this mm. it's like when you are poor or like you don't have a lot of money you think that um the rich people don't have any problems or like they are just like happy because they have um because just because they have money but like you know that is not true like if you really think about that like of course what i mean by that i'm so sorry like i am deeply sorry that i cannot like speak today um okay what i'm talking about is that no amount of like physical material um kind of like abundance is going to replenish your energy and like make you uh, yes make you feel fulfilled and successful like no amount of money or like i don't know whatever is able to do that unless you actually start to i'm hearing be your own friend like like healing yourself like healing yourself in a really deep um core like on a really quantum level like um on a soul level just like basically i think i think that your shadow self is getting the most of you but like i think that your shadow self may be being more active recently but it's not because but it's not like how to say this it's not because the shadow self is here to like get you you know what i mean it's not here to to make you feel guilty or unhappy or whatever is here to actually help you but you're not working you're not cooperating with your shadow self and and i feel like it's a really potent time for you to do this to, to do that this and like and i think that you're just like getting in your way like i'm literally hearing that it's that you are actually like sabotaging yourself more than you are actually helping yourself okay i have three cards okay um maybe with that um lovers that we saw there and i just saw like two people on a boat here so i'm gonna tell this 
um maybe because we have this card actions speak loudly express your love through actions i'm not gonna include it here but like maybe some of you are um with that lovers with that seven of cups maybe some of you are overthinking um doing like taking some action towards someone or like with this speak loudly card maybe you want to like confess to someone and you're just like like okay but well, what if they will reject me what if that blah 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 you know like you're just like overthinking it so much that it actually um makes you sleep deprived okay i hope you know what i mean and we have being the present and dream of the future with um with what with nothing um when we dream everything is possible i think that um i'm referring to that seven of cups again and i think that you instead of actually like dreaming visualizing your future in the way that you want it to be um you are more of being like um, you're more like creating all those like worst case scenarios like what can go wrong like what how can i fail like what if it doesn't succeed i doesn't i don't succeed and like all those kind of like negative thoughts with this nyx here because this is like all dark here black card and this card is also like black but we can see the rainbow here and we have like we have actually a lot of light here but i think that you're more fo focusing on the dark side of the things um and instead of actually like dreaming like dreaming um slash visualizing you are more overthinking and you're mistaking that kind of like dreaming daydreaming energy um with um over oh my i'm so sorry with overthinking yes when we dream everything is possible and it's possible but like i think you are making all those negative negative neg oh my god negative um aspects of that situation more possible than the good outcome um we're gonna I, i'm gonna i'm gonna try to figure out what may you may be overthinking um other than that love situation so i can have more insight and help you more <laughs> we also have demonstrate love find out what is important to find out what is important to to those you love and act on it i'm so sorry mm. uh, okay i see two cases someone in your life that you love it can be a love interest and you're still 18 18 um it can be a love interest it can be a parent it can be friend teacher whoever like whatever you're whoever you're asking about i think someone um demonstrated love towards you and right now you may also because of that you may overthink that because like oh my god i reacted in the wrong way i should have said that i didn't say this and like you are just like replaying that situation all over in your head and it's making you sleepless um or maybe because i looked at the king of coins it can also be a situation with money maybe you want to i don't know switch jobs or you want to um do something else in life or you want to earn more money or you want to find a job whatever involved in, with money and material material things um i saw also um 1919 so like we we're moving up a level maybe you're leveling up and that's why you're maybe you're getting a promotion whatever i but i think that whatever is happening in your life um with money you are also 
overthinking that i think i'm just like getting all those like negative emotions my my i hope my cheeks aren't red but like i can feel the heat you know like when you're anxious when you're stressed all of those emotions i can feel in my body and if i can feel that i'm so sorry for the for what you my may be feeling um but it's like it will pass but like you can also move through this um move out of this situation um and also other other scenario that demonstrate love card is that maybe you want to demonstrate love towards someone and you're just like overthinking that like what am i supposed to do what should i do um will they accept this will they be grateful would how will they react with will would they reject me if this is like a confession or like maybe a proposal um hmm horses like ponies may be significant and and blue um butterflies okay um i don't know what to put this <laughs> and see like i am chaotic and i think that you're probably too i just like this card is like upright here and i'm just like switching into to the back side like what am i doing receive with love and appreciation that's what i'm saying i think that you can like maybe this doesn't apply to all of you or maybe you have like all of those like situations that i'm um listing here um but i think that you reacted to something or you didn't react to something and right now you're just like really overthinking that but it's okay like i think if you are overthinking this situation with someone i think that you may like it's time for you to focus on yourself like we have that crown chakra here like one two three here also like she's having all those birds flying out of her crown chakra and yes like focus on yourself like regardless of what is going on in your life if you're doing well or if you aren't doing well like focus focus on yourself in life gracious acceptance is a way to show love like even if mm, if this is like a case with you um wanting wanting to confess to someone um i think that you may overthink that because you don't accept this kind of love maybe it's like maybe um you're loving like you have a crush on like your boss and you're like like this shouldn't be like that i i shouldn't do that you know like this kind of like forbidden love um and you don't accept that in yourself so you are like projecting it onto another person i hope you know what i mean like you think that they won't accept you because you don't accept this part of you loving this person um or you don't accept yourself even because like because like you may have things like like i just saw like um a um a cloud resembling a bunny playing with like a ball or something bunnies may be significant to you um what i'm seeing also here like it's how to say this if you don't like yourself you won't even think that someone else is gonna like you you know what i mean because like like how they can love you if you don't love yourself this kind of mindset and it's not true in every case but mostly it's like that okay Okay. King of Swords. Oh my God. With the King of Swords. Um. Ha. Okay. I know. Okay. And we have strength at the bottom. Okay. And I just got a ringing in my ear. You know what? Um. You are in your head too much because you're trying to make a um because if this is about love 
um, which I'm feeling like at this point is mostly this case for all of you, but apply it to your situation, okay? If your intuition is telling you to stay and listen to this, apply it to your own situation. I am sure you will be able to discern the messages. But like with the King of Swords, swords or mind or air or intellectual energy. So I think you're trying... Wait, I think you're trying to make something rational, like this kind of love or feelings that you have for someone. You're trying to make this rational when um, feelings aren't rational at all. And I also have a problem with accepting my feelings when they aren't um, logical, rational. And I think that you are what you're trying to do with all of that, this um, overthinking and and maybe being hard of, on yourself with this guilt here is I think you're trying to make it rational, to like find the proof that, um, okay, like, um, I don't know, like just trying to make something that isn't logical, isn't rational, it just happens. Um, maybe it's like a deep love spiritual level kind of love um like a soulmate twin flame and you won't be able to like explain it because you can because it's it's it isn't supposed to be rational at all we also have the nine of cups here um which again cups are um or oh my god feelings yes and like and it's this kind of energy that it's flowing, it's fluid, it's watery, it's it's feminine, and it isn't supposed to be logical at all. Um, we have the page of cups also, which also like pages of cup page of cups is like um often described as the inner child card because like it's it's um immature or like youthful energy but i'm more getting here like youthful or how to say this like this kind of like childlike innocence and i think that person may have sparked this kind of feeling that you haven't felt for a long time in you and you are just like freaking out because like how like why what how was this going on you know and you're not able to rationalize it and it's scary to you because like we have the king of coins which is earth signs um as i said taurus capricorn um not libra um virgo and we also have the king of swords which swords are air which is aquarius libra and gemini and all of those signs are logical or rational aren't oh my god i'm sorry aren't able to like like they lack this kind of um i just switch the cards oh my god maybe it's supposed to be that way um aren't um like have travel feeling the watery vibes here um the feelings and all of those kind of feelings <laughs> because we have the nine of cups page of cups here with the nine of cups i think that this situation because nine of cups is like a wish fulfillment is a happy card this is card when everything in your life is going okay and you're content um you know and the page of cups can also mean that and like we have this kind of like youthful appearance to her here and and flowers and everything you know spring vibes and what i'm getting here is that this situation is here to serve you more than to like beat you down what was i saying like with this that's what why what i was saying i'm <laughs> sorry with all of those like shadowy aspects with this dark energy um yes like this this part in your life this chapter this time in your life is here to help you heal not to make you like miserable but like if you won't be able to actually learn something from something from this situation 
where are you going like you're not going nowhere you're like stuck in this in the same place because how can you expect different results when you're doing the same thing over and over again how i don't know like maybe you tell me how <laughs> i'm kidding but like like in life it's really like that. if you um if you want to change something how can you expect a different result like it's how we have the hermit with hermits and we have the higher friend with dionysus yeah dionysus oh my god i don't know how to say this in english but the hermit and the higher friend um i'm gonna show them um the hermit is a is a um, is an is that kind of energy of is like isolation isolation but like you know like when sometimes like in movies like a monk or someone like goes um and climbs a mountain to gain clarity to like meditate and like levitate eventually to have like a higher state of mind awareness whatever um this is the energy of hermit in your case i'm getting because you have the higher friend and higher friend is the teacher it, it doesn't have to mean like a priest or something but like it's it's a teacher it's someone who, like with um, how to say this someone who has more knowledge than you or it can mean that you have knowledge which in your case i think you have that kind of like high priestess inner knowledge kind of vibe and you have to get into the hermit mode into the healing star mode in order to um in order to gain that higher friend um deeper knowledge i hope you know what i mean and we have the nine of coins um you know what with this card and i'm gonna say something about again but we have two nines here so maybe you have been seeing 999 recently um this guy here is like sitting and like uh you know and like can you see all those coins um uh, being offered to him as he's like uh i don't know and like this for me here in this case because usually nine of coins mean a really like fulfillment success whatever energy but here i think you're actually like this kind of like nine of coins maybe um in your life you're being offered um i don't know more money or like even like the same amount of money but like i think nothing physical is able to make you feel fulfilled because you need that kind of emotional soul level deep level fulfillment which you're not getting because you're not feeling that like you're not getting like you're not allowing yourself to feel that and this is i'm so sorry <laughs> like i'm so sorry because like i know how hard it is and um but it's a major transformation it's a major thing in your life yes um we have resurrection i'm not gonna include this but as i saw because i saw it i'm gonna um i think you may be going a really deep transformation when you have to when you have to literally like die in some way like end some cycle in your life and and actually like re be reborn like 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 resurrect yourself you know what i mean um with this higher friend i was getting also like with this resu resurrection card here also i'm getting that maybe um you should explore more of your like religion maybe like a christian i'm getting this vibe here um uh yes and about this being like a major transformation in your life we, we have king we have another king which are major cards in tarot we have page of cups which is also like all those three cards are the court cards which have which have 
higher energy in the minor arcana yes and we have the star we have the hermit the higher fan which are major arcanas and all of those tr three cards speak of literally healing and being spiritual with the higher fans so i think you are getting through um a major transformation with also those all those butterflies here in your life and it's scary it's hard but you will get through it also maybe some of you have been getting really unpleasant um physical symptoms recently um like some sort of like inflammation or maybe even like a fever um and if so if you're getting a fever out of nowhere it can mean um a really long period of stress and your body is just not having it anymore like your body is literally screaming at you like wake up and do something about it you know like how long how long are you going to live like this um right before i it was actually a fever which caused me to um end my education early and um i got it because i was in a constant state of stress um it came out of nowhere and like i was scared that i was gonna die and this caused me to literally trust myself and my own life i'm not feeling that this is like a really scary situation for you but if you even get i'm saying this to like warn you if you even get like i don't know all of a sudden like some kind of like ear infection or i don't know like something really out of nowhere like i don't know maybe you catch a cold in the middle of the summer you know and this i want you like i will i like the universe also i'm getting this message wants you to know that this is like a warning like this is a wake up call like come on like how long are you going to live like this i'm telling you this your body your soul your intuition is telling you this all over again to just slow down rest replenish and actually like live you know nourish yourself with all those waters water emotions all over your head um cleanse yourself like i'm feeling that you <sighs> this energy that i'm he feeling today is so heavy and how long can you live like this like literally i'm hearing like how long can you live like this we have aries with act we also have taurus at the bottom um maybe this um if you're watching this when i post this maybe this yesterday's um taurus new moon activated something within you um yes okay and we have the ninth house with exploration um wait what am i getting here mm. with aries aries is also like the crown area of your head um but immediately when i started filming i started getting like heat in my cheeks i hope i'm not too like red on the um screen anyways um aries is a very fiery energy very heat like energy very it's like if i i always get this um impression that if aries doesn't um express this inner fire if um they don't let it out it can also manifest as like aggression or something um if they if like they keep it in the, their body they like boiling almost like with with the aries people that i knew um and i think that all this this guilt and and I, i'm mostly hearing today guilt 
and like really overthinking too much is being like too much in your head instead of acting is causing you to overheat either emotionally or or like physically even like yes maybe you have been getting higher blood pressure recently if so go to doctor <laughs> um Yes, with the Taurus here, I know Taurus is here for, um, because I was having this conversation in my with my mom the other day, and I was uh, telling their day, I was telling my mom her, oh my God, what am I saying, um, that um, Taurus is like a very grounded, earthy energy, and we tend to store our emotions in our body. Some of you may be actually Taurus because I wasn't getting that energy in the beginning. Or you may have moon and Taurus, especially like with all those emotions that I'm talking about. Regardless, like check where check where is the Taurus in your chart. Anyways, um, but like Tauruses tend to hold energy too much, like to energy, like emotions too much in their body, and if especially if you have moon in taurus because moon is also like about the body like it's everything connected like um with the higher friend educate yourself on that regardless i feel that your um your your nervous system is not functioning properly anymore um and like this is and this is like a huge warning for you i'm constantly like hearing like wake up like literally like wake up and i'm sorry that i'm here to tell you this but like wake up um or maybe not sorry because like you can evolve from this maybe you will completely change your life but shift it like towards something that you really want to do that you want like that you feel called to do that is your purpose in this lifetime because we also have here the ninth house with exploration um maybe you aren't maybe you're called to explore other options like really think about okay what else can i do in this situation like how how can i get out of this situation how can i actually move from this situation to make myself feel better feel better or like maybe your family however is this affecting you right now i feel like it's i think that it's mostly about you finally doing something that will actually show you that you can choose yourself like like i think the universe is mostly saying to you like choose yourself heal yourself but like heal in a really profound deep like loving compassionate way and yes <laughs> okay i'm gonna now um, use um the norman cards to try to see kind of like the future energy of the situation and then i'm gonna pull out cards see what can you like what l like what is this action i want to see um okay we're gonna see i'm improvising today <laughs> by the way it looked like i i got these small lenormand cards and like i i saw this bunny um earlier so maybe the universe is telling you to get a pet or um or maybe spend more time with your pet because my dog actually almost always when I do those readings sleeps like far away from me but today he's like right beside me which also tells me that maybe you need to get closer to your to your pets or maybe even like family members to your loved ones where is this card? Oh, we have coffin uh, with number eight number eight may be significant but i am not getting much with this card i'm gonna check the meanings and because i'm still learning the normal um but we'll see i i want to see 
what kind of result can you expect with this situation in the near future like maybe a month from now um coffin coffin is ending dying funeral loss grief mooring sadness that's what i'm saying i you just need to like begin to make peace with with some 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 kind of like cycle or 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 stage in your life ending and and yeah because like how can i i feel like you have big dreams with that dream card but like you are getting in your own way not being able to let go of the past and like how can you build how can you get something new if you aren't getting rid of something that already died like you're just like wasting energy you know okay what can my people here expect in the near future i'm used to um shuffling bigger cards and this is like really unusual to me to shuffle these tiny ones and maybe you mm, but it's not like annoying to me so i'm getting this impression that maybe you want to get into something new learn something new with this expand expansion exploration card um you want to get into something new but you're like overthinking it like okay like it feels unfamiliar and your ego is like get out get out you know your ego wants to keep you safe in your comfort zone and you're just like listening to this part of yourself that is telling you like to stay in this situation you know what you know what i mean like but you can't because your body tells you to not do this if you you if you can sleep at night um this is time to really like think about what's going wrong in your life because something definitely is we have mountain with 21 okay we have child okay maybe some of you are expecting a child and that is like a something huge for you but it's like may i i feel like it's specific to like two or two maybe people here if so congratulations <laughs> mountain child coffin again see like it wanted to come out and it did and woman okay and this wants to come out moon i'm gonna check the meanings here and i will see you in a moment that's what i was saying we have the mountain of the child like in pair here um and what i'm seeing here is like a uh, mountain together with the child is um innocence causes obstacles inexperience causes obstacles what i'm seeing here is like both of those scenarios that in the near future with the innocence um and coming back to this um because i'm getting this kind of um vibe with this page of cups here and i think it may be come on um it may be that i am going to say two case scenarios um it may be that in the near future you will have to um, maybe that person that we saw with the um with the lovers card it's even like here it's like right here when i just like swept swept the cards with the lovers here um this situation with like an <laughs> this situation with this situation with the unexpressed love or or like unaccepted love whatever is causing you to feel that inner child um innocence within you it's causing you to feel all those deep um primal emotions like you know that kind of like unconditional deep love and you're scared of that it's like it's really like oh like you know and you see this as an obstacle but it's actually here to help you 
um, to help you heal, to help you um, resurrect because we have the child and the coffin here together like they are sitting next to each other and uh, the meaning there was um, repressed inner, inner child like you know um, when I'm feeling that something in your life and again okay I'm gonna tell this I'm sorry for being so chaotic okay um we also had this other scenario but I'm gonna connect this we uh, with the mountain and the child with being unexperienced in something and I think that you want to do something that you're completely like unexperienced with or maybe you have like a little experience and you're like okay but like um how can I do this if I don't feel confident or like I'm gonna ruin everything I'm gonna fail you know all this negative um self destroying um thoughts and it's actually regarded regardless if it's the feelings for this another person or this kind of unexperienced ground um like unexperienced ground with both of these scenarios we have someone who's unexperienced in something who's um but like you can do this like you know how to do this you have this inner instinctual knowledge knowing that you can do this and how you can do this but it will happen once you will actually let this inner child out of this of its coffin and you saw mirroring numbers and like and change like actually like change your attitude towards your inner child this kind of innocence this kind of pureness this kind of like not naivety like not this kind of like really dumb vibe that children can give off but like children aren't dumb if you actually think about this um they like i always say this that like, children all are, are like the best teachers because they are so innocent they're like so unaffected and so um they they aren't like soaked in all of those traumas so like then I'm talking like toddlers, you know, and they are so pure and they they are happy if they see a freaking aunt, you know what I mean? And you're not happy with this nine of coins here if someone is giving you like money and, and this is what you want, but you're not happy, you know, and the aunt is like a bug that you can like unalive really easily, but a child is really happy that it sees this. And I think the universe or God um, or whoever is asking you to find this kind of excitement, this kind of unconditional love for everything, this kind of pureness, innocence, whatever, um, in yourself in this near future, because this can actually, like, I think this can move you forwards, this can, like, lead you further in your life than all of those worries and whatever <laughs> all, all that energy all that negative energy that you're going through um okay the next thing i'm seeing here is that um um okay the next thing i'm seeing here is that maybe be because we have a woman here so i'm seeing two scenarios that maybe you're watching or a woman and right now you're experiencing this type of um how to say this you're becoming a woman that you were when you were a child this kind of like pure wild um innocent woman that you were supposed to be because you are actually like resurrecting yourself um and you're finding that joy for life that feminine energy that knowledge that whatever you're like just releasing all of those um all of those um, layers of yourself that aren't you like all those traumas guilt um anger frustration all those negative emotions 
um, you're releasing that, you're coming out of this like cocoon of those emotions, and you're becoming this beautiful, um, radiant, healthy, young, or even like maybe old woman, you know, not old because like no one like ages, whatever. Um, no matter how old are you, you can be young, but like I'm seeing you coming back to this inner child. Just this can also be a message for men, but for men, I'm mostly getting here um, that you may meet someone who is like really unexpected for you. Um, like if you are interested in women or like in men, whatever, you're just like meeting someone i just saw five 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 um not five what i meant four fives you know what i mean oh my god i'm so sorry which means like a major change in your life and i'm getting that you may meet a woman who is going to change your life or maybe this woman is someone that you were supposed to confess to with that um lovers somewhere um I'm gonna take out one more card and we're gonna wrap this up yes that's what i was also thinking about you may meet a woman or you may confess to a woman and like get in touch with um contact whatever with a woman with this is like a nice description a woman with a lot of depth emotional knowledge and intuition and you may actually be feeling drawn um with this hebe here um towards a woman who's like um childlike innocent but like not this kind of like naivety like this kind of like dumbness energy this kind of energy that is like so pure loving um open feminine like this nurturing kind of energy um and you feel drawn to that woman and 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 what i'm gonna see what okay <laughs> this is specifically for those who are about to meet or who met this kind of woman and is regardless of if you met her or if you didn't this woman i think is about to enter your life anchor yes oh my god commitment you know like let me check this out but like it's so interesting um yes like i think you are actually getting maybe like maybe you confessed and you're like getting together with this woman you know what i mean um maybe you're getting engaged um but i'm not getting this kind of energy it's more of like okay i like you oh you like me too so we're gonna be together you know and i think if this woman has so much depth to her so much um intuition it's like so um tapped into her intuition I think it's gonna be a really healing energy for you a really healing relationship for you and if you are actually like this in this king of cups uh, king of coins oh my god you may you may also be like a pisces scorpio or or what else is there and cancer energy there but like i'm not getting that like maybe it's like a part of placement regardless if you're in this king of coins energy when maybe you're that kind of person which was um which was working towards um which was working towards something you're like you were working towards something your entire life um in terms of money or financial stability and right now this woman that you're about to be committed to is is about to show you this other side of emotions of feeling of actually like feeling with those cups here that we saw um yes emotions creating stability to be deeply tied to emotions all over the reading we have emotions 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 and and it's actually beautiful to see all this energy here all the time what i'm getting here is that for all of you is like um regardless of whatever is your problem if you will 
tap into your emotions, if you were to listen to your emotions, if you were to feel your emotions, you're going to be stable. Like you, like it. It will be like the first step towards really getting closer to whatever you want to do. I want to get some messages about. And like see this contrast here Th these are my biggest cards i cannot like shuffle them normally and these are my tiniest and like i i see this um contrast with your energies because like maybe up up like until this point in your life you were feeling little emotions like like so tiny like you were you were you were like allowing yourself to feel just like the the bare minimum you know that you have to and right now you're waking up this something maybe you're going through a spiritual awakening and you're actually like getting like the biggest um flow of emotion that you than you that you ever felt and it's scary i think like it's scary to you and you're you would just like prefer to actually not feel this i'm not feeling this card actually and like you are trying to like distract yourself with everything that you can but it's not working and and your body is telling you this we have focus on love look for the good in everyone especially in yourself i think that and i'm getting this energy throughout the whole whole reading that you're being too hard on yourself and dragons may be significant here with here with this dragon but like I think that you're just like too hard on yourself and you're not allowing yourself to feel oh maybe it's like because I saw this woman here maybe you're um maybe this the these feelings because I'm not saying love because I don't know how deep that is between you right now um regardless maybe this person this woman this man whatever um is like awakened something in you and right now you're not understanding what the hell are you feeling like i didn't I, like it's maybe it's your first time not ever but like in a long time since you were a child feeling all those emotions and you're like what like what am i supposed to do with that maybe you were conditioned when you were teached maybe you were um like maybe you just have this pattern of like feeling the bare minimum when it comes to emotions that can let you like survive in this world and right now when someone shows you like this person shows you that you can actually feel more and actually be happier or even like more content you're just like freaking out because like how like maybe you were in your life you have like you had like a straight plan with this um pentacles energy like i'm gonna get married at this age i'm gonna do career at this age i'm gonna have children at this age and right now when someone or something is changing in your life is coming into your, your life you're like freaking out because you were seeing like this and like now you right now you have like this whole um outlook on everything and you are just like like it's hard to actually abandon or like abandon your um belief system that you were like nourishing you're like having throughout however many years i'm seeing um nine, 92 oh my god no i'm seeing 29 um 21 when it comes to 24 32 35 but i'm not feeling this and is there something else i'm picking up on on 47 on or 8 that may be your ages but like treat it as a double confirmation just um and six but like i i don't think you are si you are six years old be willing to express love express love to receive love what am i saying um Uh, how to say this um like because we also like this reminds me of 
inner child here i think you just need to come back to this feeling of love that you know from your childhood because i'm not getting this energy that you weren't loved in childhood if so i'm sorry but i'm not getting this i'm i feel that you know what love is you're just scared to come back to it because maybe someone hurt you when you were loving them maybe like it isn't it, it it isn't necessarily a parent it may be um like a crush from middle school whatever is that like um i think you're just scared because you're like because you're traumatized and this is okay um i don't want to leave you like this i want to give you something that you can do to move this forward like how can you feel those emotions thank you we have five of wands okay we have the world and i want one more this is it thank you um and we have ace of wands <sighs> i'm getting new beginning but i think you're jealous of someone envious of something whatever like you are just like in this um comparison mindset in this competition mindset and this is what's actually stopping you from growing and from moving on from this situation um also pink carnations may be a sign and roses but like roses in mm, in kind of like this kind of color babe because you won't be able to see this, like in this kind of color like on this um on these wings that may be a sign for you recently yes i'm just getting like allow the past version of you which with which had that stable thing job maybe even a personality in your life allow this past version of you to die and come back to your inner child because in life we have um stages like you know um like until i think six or seven years old your um your character your personality isn't fully developed and you develop that by age of like i think it's seven years old but like until that time you're picking up on on trauma like it's easier to change something in a child until it um until it's uh, it turned <laughs> um seven years old um then it's harder to like get rid of some bad habits or something and like i'm hearing come back to this six we had six somewhere yes this come back to this six year old version of you and and see like what what were that you were enjoy doing on the war or like whatever whatever that is there's something um for you at the time of six um six seven eight i'm hearing uh, before you started comparing yourself to everyone else around you um i'm gonna one more card i'm hearing and we're gonna finish it wait we have jade and pink lotus 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 <laughs> um sink into silence reflection tranquility you need peace but you won't get that peace until you actually hear you hear your yourself i'm sorry look at this beautiful card i think that's what you mean and this um jade here reminds me of heart chakra and also all those things remind me of heart chakra and that's what i'm getting like tap into this pure loving 
space in your heart um when i'm saying heart i'm saying actually about like this area of your of your body and like like what makes you feel most alive like somewhere here you know this kind of energy i'm gonna check the guidebook and i'm gonna leave you here <laughs> you're gonna be fine without me <laughs> i'm kidding um of course i'm kidding um this is 87 earth again ground yourself i just saw 111 um yes um okay to work with the energies of jade we must get down to her level also can you hear those children playing outside and that's what i was saying with this inner child energy like everything that happens in the reading is a message and and they weren't here before i started talking about child children like inner child so take this as a message maybe you like to play football because they're um how to say this kicking the ball and like whatever it was that you enjoyed doing when you were like a little kid go, go back to it and this may be that kind of challenge with this inexperienced energy that we were seeing and maybe you will feel like you lost this spark or whatever like this ability to i don't know like even even like maybe coloring books or whatever that is um you lost this kind of ability to do this this kind of skill and you feel unexperienced there but i feel and i am strongly strongly he hearing that you have this knowledge within you yes okay to work with the energies of jade we must get down to her level level <laughs> she asks you to leave the ego ego to the one side and meet her where there is no one higher than the other um yes she te she she teaches us to be humble healing the heart through compassion what was i saying about heart tranquility in your mind and heart perhaps you have been rushing around recently pushing yourself hard it will help you with grounding through uncertain and changing times um bringing a gentle understanding and integration that combats any worries stress or depression sit in quiet reflection i'm seeing like um uh, I'm seeing meditation, but like meditation, um, like this kind of like active med meditation that you get when you really focus. Um, I just spit on myself. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that kind of like, um, how to say this? Like kind of like active, like d when you're doing something and you're just like so focused on something that you are actually in this state of like meditation. Um, then you forgot how your <laughs> how your lips um are even behaving you know that this kind of like that you forget that you have a body type of meditation you know that you're so focused on doing something that you forget that you are actually like this kind of physical vessel you know and you just like all you can feel is this kind of light soul deep level of being <laughs> i don't know how to actually like um explain this but like mm, what i'm trying to say is that you need to come back to your soul and you won't do this unless you kind of get out of your body and with all those pentacles here the earth energy i think that you're there is like some kind of like paradox i think you're grounded when it comes to your financial material stability um but when it comes to your you actually like your like grounding body physical stability you have none and like it's because you're not getting your feelings to flow through you that's why you're getting too much in your head you're over you're overthinking and then you get um detached from your body because your body feels the emotions and you're detaching from that 
I know this sounds like really confusing but once you will feel this even once you will actually know what I'm talking about and it will become easier with practice I'm hearing meditate but like however you meditate maybe it's like even like working out you know um doing yoga or, or like gardening something that you makes you just feel so at peace and so good that you forget that you live that it sounds weird but you know i hope you know what i mean for me what gets me into this state is literally like doing this kind of reading because i'm just i'm just channeling all those messages i'm just letting the spirit <laughs> flow through me and like i'm just talking i'm using my voice i'm i'm losing my heart chakra Heart? oh my god i'm using my throat chakra to to let this message out and that's all i'm thinking about and that's why i'm even like spitting on myself because i'm forgetting that i have lips i don't know how to explain this but it's something that i'm so deeply passionate and in love with and i feel the most like myself well i'm when i'm doing this so i forget that i have a body which sounds um crazy because i'm looking at myself in the um in the camera all the time but like it isn't meant to be rational i like again i'm going to come back to this minute that you're too much in your head try to just feel and i always say this like because i'm getting a lot of um synchronicities and weird messages with which sometimes feel like coincidences sometimes i feel delusional sometimes i feel like i'm even going crazy but I'm always saying this to, this to my mom, which I see happening similar things with her. And I'm always saying this, that if you see something, if you can feel something, if your intuition tells you that this is something that actually happened, you experience this. And you don't have to have like a tangible proof for that, evidence. You don't have to have them to actually know that this is a fact this happened this is real i'm talking about like maybe you see someone in your dream and and you don't know like how to say this you know like if you're more into spirituality you know that sometimes there are really crazy synchronicities happening and sometimes you can be like no it was like just a coincidence like it wasn't true you know but you felt it you saw it so it was true okay this is where i'm gonna leave you um if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments or i have linked my instagram somewhere so you can dm me there if you feeling um too open here like too public here if you want something more, more private um but i'm not doing private readings um yet <laughs> and yes subscribe uh subscribe I hope it's subscribed. Subscribe if you want to see more from me. I may be getting another message for you because I felt your energy once. Um, and also, maybe like throughout this whole reading, um, there was a point when I actually calmed down. So maybe there was a moment when you were like, okay, like this is okay, I get it now. And, and you also like kind of like calm down, you know? Um, okay, I'm not i'm finishing up okay subscribe if you want to see more G leave me a like if you enjoyed it and if you actually appreciate my time here no like i had fun like i i have fun time um helping you and i think that's all like yeah okay i wanted to like say bye bye and i'm wishing you lots of tranquility <laughs> and like peace and serenity and love compassion for yourself and yes i'm wishing you good luck with experiencing your inner child and i'm going bye like it's the end bye